Hey everyone, I have been resisting fall with everything that I have, but I think it's time to embrace sweater weather and all things pumpkin. I have two really cute pumpkin spice latte designs for you this week. They're very easy. And so let's get started. We're gonna start by base coating one of our rocks with white paint. Now we're gonna take jack-o'-lantern orange and paint the background of the rock where we base coated. I did have to add a couple of drops of white paint to my jack-o'-lantern orange because it's a little bit old and it was starting to thin out. A lot of times with the lighter colors like orange and yellow and a light pink, you have to do a second coat to make sure you've got good coverage. Now I'm going to take a white, broad-tipped Posca paint pen to line out my little latte coffee cup. So it's a very simple design. I do it in white just because I have better control with the pen, and then I'll fill it in a little bit with the white and then go back with paint. Now I'm going to take this light mocha, it's a light brown paint, and paint the base of the coffee cup. This is just what I was mentioning before, coming back with white paint to fill in the top of the coffee cup. Now I'm going to take this chocolate bar paint, it's a nice dark brown, and I'm going to create the sleeve for the coffee cup. Now I'm going to take Harvest Orange and a small thin paintbrush and make my pumpkin on the cup sleeve. So it kind of looks like a chunky heart, um, the same kind of motion at least at the top and then you just kind of bring it in along the bottom without making it pointy like you would with a heart. This will probably take two or three coats just so that orange is nice and bright over the darker brown coffee sleeve. Now I'm taking a Thule Art acrylic paint pen and I'm going to line out my letters. So I'm using the word love, but the coffee cup is standing in for the letter O. So we're adding L, V, and E. And then I'm going to come back and thicken the letters anywhere that there was a downstroke from the pen. And I'm going to come back with black paint and fill this in and thicken it up. Now I'm coming back with a green Thule Art pen and I am going to add the stem to my pumpkin. So as you can see with that darker brown paint on the coffee sleeve, my stem isn't showing up so well. So I'm gonna take some lighter green paint and just kind of brighten it up a little bit so that it shows. Now I'm gonna take my Sakura Pigma pen, which has an end that's kind of like a paintbrush, and I'm gonna outline the coffee cup and the pumpkin, add some coffee steam, and then I'm gonna take a dotting tool and add some orange polka dots to the coffee cup. If you've been watching my videos, you know I like glitter, so I'm gonna take my orange glitter from Folk Art and use the large dotting tool and just kind of apply that as a border around my orange background. I use the dotting tool because you can get it on nice and thick 
and then it has a nice sparkle and it makes a nice outline for this kind of design. Now I'm just going to take that same dotting tool and add some polka dots to the background of the rock with the glitter paint to tie in the border with the rest of the design. Now for the second design, it's just gonna be the coffee cup. So it's gonna be a little larger. You can do a little more with the design and play around with it if you want, but I'm gonna approach it the same way using that Posca paint pen to kind of line out my coffee cup. And then I will fill it in with white paint to start so that it gives it a nice base coat. Again, I'm coming back with the light mocha to fill in the coffee cup portion of the rock. This time I decided to go with a white coffee sleeve. There's lots of options here. You could pick whatever you want. And then for the pumpkin this time, I'm gonna use a Thule Art paint pen instead of painting it on, just to give you a little bit of variety of how you could go about this. I'm gonna add my pumpkin stem with the Thule Art pen again, and this time it's gonna show up a little better because of the white background instead of the chocolate coffee sleeve. And the glitter is back. This time because the pumpkin is a little larger, I'm gonna fill in the pumpkin with the orange glitter paint. And I kind of put it on thick like I do with the dotting tool, but this time I am using a brush. I'm also adding polka dots with the glitter paint to the coffee cup. You could also do stripes. There's lots of different things you could do with the coffee cup. It's kind of up to you. You can take it any direction you'd like. And then back to the Sakura Pigma pen to outline the whole design. It gives it a nice pop so it's nice and defined. And we'll add a few lines to the pumpkin so it looks like a pumpkin. So my daughter picked out the gold glitter paint for the border on this rock. So we're gonna do it the same way we did with the orange glitter paint, but just this time it's gold. I have a confession to make. I've never even had a pumpkin spice latte and I'm not sure that I would like it even if I did have one. I do love this design. It's so fun and it's so easy and it fits in with the fall season and the changing temperatures and the changing leaves. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope to see lots of pumpkin spice lattes out there in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future uploads. See you next time!